So here we are again, back on another adventure, this time visiting the beautiful barren lands of the Elam Valley in Wales. We visited in the winter, as you can see, the misty rain covering up the amazing lakes with hidden dams and bridges as you go. We had five trucks in the convoy, we'd all been locked down for a long time and it was great to see one another once again. But that's enough waffle, let's get going shall we? Every good off-roading adventure starts on tarmac, so here we are driving to the location, but before we get there, let's meet the team. First you've got Ant of Timeless Overland, well versed in off-roading and the leader for the trip. This is Ellie's first trip out of Genie her Jeep and into the Land Rover, so let's see how she goes. Cal is also well known in the Land Rover world, but now in his Toyota 60. Our resident local Chris has been around the block a few times and can scare off any sheep if we needed to. Last and least is me and Boris following along, having a good time. There's our motley crew for the day, so let's hope nobody gets hurt. So we've just left our parking spot. We're in a convoy, we've got everyone here now. Never been up here before, so it's fantastic. So nice being across this uh, little lake here. Beautiful place. We're about to do a water crossing, first water crossing. I've already had a bit of water on me today. Over there, Boris is going now. A few of us had never done this water crossing before, so didn't know what to expect. Also, it had been reported there was a big boulder in the middle somewhere, so we had to take a different route to normal. Boris is through with these, followed by Ant, making it look an absolute breeze. Lara's first outing proper off-road with Ellie looked absolutely fantastic in front of the dam there. This was Callum's first trip out in the 60s as well, running on stock, very low suspension, so it was a good test for that too. I'd seen this track in a lot of photos, so it was great to finally visit it, and it was awesome to see it in person. Okay, did not see that. <laughs> Bit of air. I didn't really notice. I thought it was just mud. Do we need a tow? No, I think it'll get up. The two later, I think I did it first. And she's through. Generally not too tough, most trucks can do it, as you can see Callum's original 60 series doing it absolutely perfectly, obviously Land Cruisers are very capable as they are, but in spots it does get a bit difficult. Generally it's quite bumpy as you go along with a few rock steps down, but we'll get to those later. Obviously lots of rain, so lots of puddles always makes it a bit more interesting. As I mentioned earlier, we'd all been locked down for a long time, so it was fantastic to just get outside, be together and get off-roading. So anything that we faced was going to be good fun. And jumping up onto this rock here to make everything look a bit more interesting. So as we reach the two rock steps, we've got two very similar looking obstacles. Both look pretty mild on camera, as usual, but both pretty steep and off camber. I doubt you can roll here, but it's pretty sketchy as you go down. Yeah, you're right. Precision! <laughs> oh, look at the tuck! If you 
do it in this direction, you could do the smaller one first and the big one after. We got a little taste of what's to come and now we lined up and we did it one at a time. Just remember on camera, it always looks a lot more mild than it actually is. It's quite gnarly, so we had a little spotter. You don't necessarily need to spot this one, but we thought we'd have a go, seeing as we were all out of the trucks. Not for you then, Cal. I don't think so. Whoa! <laughs> what a nutter. That's Chris's favourite game, the Woe game. It makes you jump out your skin and really helps with the rest of the drive. Nailed it. Big boy. Oh, look at that Yeah, we're going to start bringing it to That's it, mate. <laughs> what do you think about that one? I don't think I'll be doing that, mate. We haven't dropped yet. Bloody hell, the wheels are already coming off the ground. That's it, mate. Guys, he's not even picking. It's you. Don't fly. That's it. Yeah. Here, that's it. A little bit harder. Yeah, you're right on the back, yeah. Fine. <laughs> well, this is quite a gnarly little uh, section here. We've all done it. Ellie's on it now. A bit of uh, technical difficulties with the defender. Weirdly, I'm not quite sure defenders ever had problems before, but it's only a bit funny. Have a look. Ant's a well-versed professional when it comes to off-roading. We were on a great adventure with him, and his usual timeless overlanding trips look exactly like this. Check them out in the description below. How was that? It was really stressful. I did not enjoy it in any way. And my handbrake was on. I was like, why is it so jerky? You can have a nice cup of tea and just calm. It's a little bit nerve-wracking. You can lift a wheel pretty easily, but we all got through. Lots of excitement and a few nerves. So, it's time for a cup of tea to calm my nerves after... Calm, I am calming my after nerves! Leaving the handbrake on. After leaving the handbrake on whilst driving Imagine my Land Rover. There, you're... Time for tea. Time for some tea, lovely. Or coffee. Or coffee. Is it? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want. Yeah. 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 It's all going wrong. Yeah, but... Oh, look at this fuzzy set up. <laughs> meant to be there, meant to... Probably, yeah. Probably. That's why I've just drove. Who would like drove, which one? Drove the there we go. Down this lovely lane. Thank you. Semi there yeah. you go, everybody. Thanks, Jacko. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we just need to clarify that Callum's dad sold me Lara, and I'm going to go back and ask for a refund. It's got a Lily Power of Steering Fluid, Jay. No, I don't. Why is it empty? It's like on the filter. Oh, I did. Can we take some out of this, then? <laughs> Jumped in for a tour in the fish tank. Fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many windows. It's 
nice medium length lane you can get off the road for about an hour great to hit it in winter because you've got a few puddles to make it a bit more interesting but here we are heading back onto the road so we just finished that lane that was a good one actually good fun a few rock steps going down it should be quite a good one to go reverse on go up so we'll do that maybe another time but now we're gonna go ahead towards the town get ellie some power steering fluid because it's a defender obviously and uh we're gonna head to camp i think go and find somewhere to camp up for the night where we can all go and also find somewhere that's not too windy it's very rainy and windy so we want some shelter so that'd be fantastic and there isn't necessarily any wild camping spots in the area but we managed to find a little enclosure it was middle of winter and we got away with it so we're all good Just for the wind, so I didn't take off the night like last time. Like I literally it. turned into a sandwich. What I did was I locked this as well. So I was like, oh my god, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like a clown show. I literally like, my yeah. arm was like, I was like this in the sleeping bag, like Jesus, what the hell's happening? <laughs> like, one hand was over. here, one was like this in the sleeping bag, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Who's gonna do the, the wood chopping? Oh, that was very close. That was like perfect. <laughs> Time to save land. What is on the menu tonight, mate? We are doing just a chili. Just, just, <laughs> just a chili. Just a, Chris has a bit of a, a bland taste. So this is what you get if you go on a timeless overland adventure. We've got a game. <laughs> traditional. It's a traditional game. It's called Can You See the Moon Through the Spoon? How does it go? What happens? Basically, you've got to sit in front of the fire. Can you see the moon through the spoon? Oh, look at that. What a beauty. <laughs> what a beauty. What a, what a beauty. Can you see the moon? Thank you. I can see the moon through the spoon. <laughs> can you drink? Can you finish that can, please? One we tried to right. play this game to trick Jacko into getting really drunk, but Callum has got the wrong. <laughs> I can see the moon through a spoon. I think he has to drink. Can you? No. Can you see the moon through a spoon? Thanks. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Do you know what? I quite a bit. We were there, like, yeah, this is how we did. Oh yeah, I remember that. I've just done the complete opposite. Every single time. <laughs> wow. And just like that, the day faded into night. Playing Moon in the Spoon, which you need to play, by the way. We sat around the fire and had a great time. Thank you so much for watching. This was a team effort, everyone got a camera and managed to get some great footage. Make sure you head down to the description below and follow everyone on Instagram. See you next time.